Hi everyone, I would like to welcome you to Rachel Brandt's Designs. On today's video, we are going to be making card number three in my Christmas card series, so let's begin. This is a Christmas card we're going to be making today. This is called a Z Fold card. This card is super easy to make and I think it's a really elegant card, so let's begin. For your card brace, you are going to need a piece of paper that measures four and a quarter by eleven. First thing you're going to do, you're going to score it at two and three quarters and at five and a half. You're going to fold it in half. And then this part right here, you're just going to fold it back like that. I've gone ahead and used my textures plate from Fiskars along with this tool for this pattern here on the front, which I think makes it really elegant. Then the next thing you're going to need is a piece of paper for inside. So this green piece of paper measures four by five and a quarter. And this white piece of paper here measures five and three quarters. I've gone ahead and stamped my image so we can actually put this for inside the card right now. So take my adhesive. This is enough. And you're just going to take it and line it up in the inside just like that. So like that for so far. The next thing for our greeting in the front, this green piece of paper measures two by three and the white piece of paper here which I've gone ahead and stamped my image already measures two and three quarters by one and three quarters. I use this stamp here to Christmas what it's all about so joy peace and love and then I ink the edges around. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take some some phone squares and I'm going to put three pieces here. Peel it off like that. And I'm going to put it in the middle on the green piece of paper just like that. Perfect. Then I'm just going to kind of line up where I would think. I think that would just actually look great right here. So I'm just going to take my pieces and just put a couple pieces down like that. Oops, perfect. It's probably best to kind of see where it is right here, so I think in the middle that will work. Make sure it's straight and like that. See how nice it looks? And the last thing I did on my card sample here, I used some stickles, or actually this is um, Glitter Glue by Studio G, and I just put it on the Christmas tree here and then also right here. So we can just do the same just to kind of add some sparkle to the card. So we can put a little bit right here on the heart. Oops, oh, that's a little bit too much. Good thing this is clear, so it's not so bad if you add a little extra sparkle. And add some here on the stars, just little pieces right here. So we can leave it open here just if you want it to dry. And then here I'm gonna put some on my star here at the top. And then there's some little extra ornaments around. I'm gonna add some more. And then I have enough room here, if, you know, to write if I want to stamp another sentiment inside, or I have enough room to leave my message. So I'm just gonna put this one aside so it's gonna dry. And that's it. So it's a really simple and elegant card to make. If you guys have any questions please leave a comment below. Thank you very much for joining me today and I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care guys. Bye.